always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Good Tuesday morning. I'm Bree Groves with your News 5 update. And today does mark day seven of Patrick Frazee's murder trial. Frazee accused of killing his ex fiance Kelsey Barrett. And based on previous days, there could still be upwards of 60 witnesses left to be called before this trial would wrap up, which could happen as soon as next Friday, the 22nd, exactly one year to the day that prosecutors say Barrett was killed. You can get caught up on what's happening in the courtroom by visiting KOAA.com. And with this recent rush of winter weather, taking care of our homeless population has become a top priority. In fact, last night, Pueblo City Council passed three emergency ordinances to keep an emergency warming shelter for the homeless open until that permanent shelter is ready. That shelter opened October 30th. It's been housing 40 to 50 people a night. The ordinance is passed last night. will ensure that it can stay open on 9th Street until the new shelter on 4th Street opens next month. And now for your forecast with meteorologist Sam Schreier. Hey, today we are definitely looking at a cold start to the day. So just kind of that brutally cold morning, but the afternoon will get so much better through time. Cold front comes at us Wednesday in the afternoon. But the nice thing about Wednesday is we'll actually feel pretty good up until like 2, 3 o'clock because after that the cold air will come and it'll chill out. We'll feel it more so Thursday and then the next chance for some precipitation or rain, snow, wintry mix is on Saturday evening. Today, temperature trends are in the 20s, 40s, and 50s. Now, Pueblo is going to go warmer than Colorado Springs. We usually do by at least a few degrees. Springs will probably hit that high temp a little closer to 2 o'clock. And then it gets cold tonight. Temps in the 50s, up and down the interstate, down the mountain range as well. So very uniform temps through southern Colorado. And tonight, a little cool out there, but not as bad as this morning. More info's there, as always, at KOAA.com.